Hey mom, I'm kind of busy right now in a business meeting. Uh, I can't really talk. I got a lot of important stuff going on. Um, so yeah, I have to call you back when I get out of my meeting, all right? All right, no, I'm in a corporate meeting. Yeah, I can't talk right now. All right, love you too, bye. Bro, don't that be the craziest thing? Your parents be calling you in the middle of feeding animals you know and stuff. Like, like, you understand this is serious business, I'm bro. working right now, you I know, know what I'm saying? Like, my mom be like, Kelvin, are you still feeding those animals again? Are you hanging up the phone on me? And I'm like, mom. You're still in the jungle, but why are you in the jungle? Why you don't come home and see your mother for Thanksgiving? For real, like, damn, mom, I'm feeding giraffes. Like, obviously I'm busy. I got corporate meetings with my boy. Oh my you God. know what I'm saying? This if is everybody ain't eating, who's eating? Everybody got to eat, bro. For real. Any sense. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs>
said she doesn't care. She, she just wants it there as a hood ornament. I love you so much, Bubbles. Yeah. It's an elephant with a Tarzan hood ornament. Uh, I like a little Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> a little, a little candy cane. <laughs> a little see this horse is smelling. A little oh, yeah. black licorice candy cane <laughs> on the big old elephant Christmas tree. <laughs> All I gotta say is Bubbles is truly a part of the eighth family. <laughs> oh my God! I love guys. you, Bubbles. And every time I try to get away, he brings me right. Right here is called an apaca. An apaca is a rodent. It's the third largest species of rodent in the world. The capybara is one, the agouti is two, and this guy right here. Now these guys actually are great swimmers. They're nocturnal. If you see his eyeballs, those giant big black eyes, are able to see, you can see at night really good. These guys are actually really good swimmers as well too. And uh, they swim on the bottom of, of rivers. You know, they walk on the bottom floor like a hippo would. They eat fruits and vegetables, and uh, look at those beautiful spots. And these guys are sometimes used as a delicacy where they come from, but they have a small reproduction rate of one to two babies per year. So, if, you know, if you kill those guys off and eat them a lot, they ain't gonna make it out in the wild. So, but these guys, they're, they're masters disguised. They have a, a front door and a back door where they live at. So if anybody wants to mess with them and try to eat them, they're gone. Reunited. Been five months since I've seen him. I missed you so much. You missed me too? I missed you too. 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 See? We really miss each other. Animals don't lie. Now, if you look at their ears, their ears, just like dogs' ears, mean they're alert. They're up. They're wired. The ears back, they're calm. It's okay, buddy. I'm sorry. I want no problem. I don't want to be in your territory. You look down and you respect them, you know? Just like that. And respect goes a long way. And if you feel like you're in a space in this territory, you must back up because that's what respect is all about, you know? And just by me looking away from him, not staring him down, it shows him that I know I'm in his territory and I want no problems whatsoever. People that really get hurt, they ignore signs like that, or they're not knowledgeable enough. Not saying I'm super knowledgeable, it's just an instinct that you have. You know, in my pack, I'm an alpha. And when I look at my dogs, they bow down. You know, all my animals, because I run the show. But these guys, they run the show. And they look at me, I bow down. Life we live, man. Giraffes, warthogs, more warthogs. Hey, buddy, what's up? How are you? You want some food? I don't have any food. You mind if I touch you? I just want to, just want to pet you really quick. Your hair looks so nice. Is that a perm? What you got over there? Ooh, that was. I guess you don't like to be touched, huh? I'm sorry for getting all in your space. Well, enjoy your food down there, okay? I'm gonna leave you alone and let you go on about your best day, okay? Your buddy over there has a lot of food and I gave you some right here too. So stay safe out there at night and I'll see you later, buddy. Peace. It's all for you, bro. I'm cool. That's yours. <laughs> Come on, you gonna take it? No, I'm not taking it right now. You know, you, you, I know you ain't scared I, I, I of took him. Took him earlier. You gotta take him again, though. We gotta show the no world. No way, man. No way. Ain't having it, right? Nah. <laughs> He's kind of cool, dude. Yeah. You got it. So you were scared earlier. Now hey, you ain't scared no more. Eminem, bye bye. Boom. Look at that. Nice. That was you, Mike. Go ahead, take him. That's it. You good? You good? No worries. Yeah. You good. He don't, he don't want me. You good? Look at that. Boom. Spider, right there. 
Mike got the spider. Right there. <laughs> I got you. The new Spider Man. Look at that. Ain't bad as it was, right? Wow. Ain't that bad. We love you, little spider. Look at Daniel and the snake. <laughs> I'm telling you, he is a real motherfucking Tarzan. It's a good name because uh, this bird has tormented everyone except him. Remember you sent me the video? Oh, yeah, yeah, he said the energy. Fix that person's energy. That's right. Uh, well, he kind of looks like Igor, too, so you see the common pattern. <laughs> <laughs> this bird loves him, now. I'm a nice person, and you're a nice snake, and I see you keep getting closer and closer to me as you keep striking, and I just want to keep my eyeballs in the same area, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. This is the fun part of my life. I got grapes. Anybody want some more grapes? I love it, dude. They feed all day. Want some more? Your baby? Your baby's so cute. Can I touch your baby? Huh? Hey, you guys. I got one for your baby. There you go. It's okay, buddy. You're not, you're not missing any snacks. No worries. Want some more? You see your baby? Oh, he stole it. So flamingos, as you guys can see, I'm here with the legend Cesar Milan at the Playboy Mansion. What? And here we have a flamingo. She's not too interested in her food. Um, but if you guys notice, why are flamingos pink? Yeah. What they That's eat. the main question. It's come from what they eat. It's called krill, shrimp, and uh, plankton. And inside that plankton is a thing called beta cardinine, which turns their feathers pink. Now, these guys migrate great distances from Americas, Africa, Asia, Europe. What's up, buddy? He wants to be a part of the video. Yeah, he. You want some food? I got you right here, bud. Here. You're missing the food. You're biting life, my life, hand now. Life. But we all love them, even though they want to bite us. Yeah, yeah. So these guys, their beak is also used as like a strain. So they go through like, these muddy like waters, that. they kick their feet, and oh, all the plankton come up. It. Yeah, it's awesome. You want some more? There you go, buddy. What about you? Come on, get your <laughs>